Hello and welcome to the uh, Monday Morning Wrap-Up. My name is Mark Evershed and uh, each week I do the wrap-up of the tournament that happened on the previous Sunday, so as of, as of today, Monday, April 22nd, um, the Sunday tournament. Ben Curtis won. Wow, really hard to find something distinctive about what Ben Curtis does. However, I got two things for you. One is something I'm pretty sure that he's working on and has done that is extraordinarily subtle, and if I didn't show you what to look for, you'd never see it. The second one was a comment that commentators were making over and over again, which I want to make you privy to. Again, not something you would see or understand unless we, we really, really show it to you. First off, uh, the thing that stood out to me with, with, uh, uh, with Ben Curtis was his posture. His posture was wonderful, see, but I'm not a, I'm not a, a real big fan of just throwing something out there without telling you what's in it for you. Posture has never been really high on my priority list to show somebody, only because up to now, they just say, have good posture. I prefer to be able to explain to you what's in it for you if you do. Well, the two things that I see that are kind of related to uh, what Ben Curtis was doing, I think in the next week, two weeks, when they interview him more, somewhere in there, they're going to say that him and his instructor have worked on getting closer to the golf ball. Well, you've heard that said many, many, many times. Three or four years ago, Greg Norman credited almost winning the, the British Open to standing closer to the golf ball. Tiger talks about standing closer to the golf ball. Well, first off, think about what that does to you. If I stand closer to the golf ball, it makes my posture better right away. Right away, it makes my posture better. Fabulous piece of information, except if you were told to swing inside out. Bad information if you were taught to swing inside out. If you're trying to swing down the line, that's a bad piece of information. There's not a chance in heck that you're probably ever going to catch me trying to give you a, a tip um, in a three or four minute time frame that I would ever suggest that by itself will get you hitting the golf ball better, because it probably won't. If you understand inside to inside, then standing closer to the golf ball is a wonderful thing. So let's say that you do, just for now. If it was me doing it myself, I would start to implement into my practice routine just getting comfortable and then standing a little closer. Backing off, set in, stand a little closer. Back off, set in, stand a little bit closer. It's like the number of times you do it, it's not muscle memory, it's just you getting used to getting a little closer to the ball and, and the look of it. If you have a 2x4 or a 4x4, four four, I would highly suggest doing that. So given the time frame we, we, we have, because I want to move on to one more thing, just for now, really take my word for it. There is something very, very correct about moving yourself a little closer to the golf ball. Well, what it does immediately, it stops the, golf, the shaft of the golf club from coming so far to the inside, so far to the outside. It's still coming an inwards towards out impact with an inside follow through, but the smaller the line, the less deviation you can get on your shots. Really important. Secondly, what they talked about is how good his timing is. Like, forever I keep hearing about timing like it's some magical thing that nobody can get and just magically it appears. Actually, it's really a simple explanation. Whenever the club shaft, your left hand and your left wrist go through the golf ball at the same time, you have rhythm, timing, and tempo. If you don't, it's because you're breaking down. You're breaking down because your body's not moving correctly. You've been told to stay behind it. So in the time frame given, that's what I can give you for today, uh, looking into what Ben Curtis is doing. The uh, other thing I could suggest you do is please go to my website, I, have a, I did something called um, perimeter training. I don't know if it's ever really going to catch on. I don't know if the, the, the term is wonderful enough, but the concept behind it is terrific. I get all kinds of emails from people that did get it saying how great it really is, and it really is. It's just not something, I guess, that has a fabulous name to it, so people want to jump at it, but the concept is terrific. I, I'll tell you, everybody can use this. But you better players out there, you're at the point now where you don't make great big glaring errors as far as the swing goes. 
you are looking for things that other people aren't looking for. So I would highly suggest you might want to start looking at, so go to the website, perimeter training is the thing to do, and uh, we'll do another uh, recap again next Monday. Bye now.